I hope you all moisted. Hear that? Yeah, I just hear cicadas, huh? You'd hear that, uh, G10 on tank pins, that nice muffled click. Yeah, so a few weeks ago I, uh, emailed Jerry Hom about the exact dimensions of the washers for this knife. I knew that my warranty was kind of fucked because, uh, I bought it second hand and, like, I've taken apart this knife multiple times and like snapped a lot of hardware and all that shit so I didn't even have the existing hardware anymore. But he was really cool. He sent me the dimensions of the uh, washers. And so I ordered off a US knife maker. I sanded down the uh, uh, pivot sex bolts that I had that were a little too long to, so, that the, uh, so that everything fits nice and tight now I'm like I'm so happy I stuck with this knife I'm so glad I didn't try to sell it like ah, this thing is beautiful I've been flipping this for days dropping it on purpose trying to like test the uh, washers and these washers are holding up so I am very 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 happy with this knife I just want to I guess talk about Hom's knives now because I feel really bad about that loving and hating the Ghost Basilisk video I did because, uh, woo! Okay. Slow down on the aerials, buddy. I feel really bad about that video, so I just want to... I don't know. So, like, the first knife that about performance level Bella song that uh, I remember the name of was Alpha Beast. And that was off of uh, Big Clip's channel back before he flipped Squid. He had an Alpha Beast. So, and I remember that uh, knife and I remember thinking it like, I mean it looked cool but it was like, looked kind of industrial and mechanical, you know? Like, it looked... A little boring and uh, but then like shortly after I watched knife caviar and I saw the titanium basilisk and that was the first time I feel like uh, I've felt knife lust ever like I wanted that knife so bad it looks so beautiful so I started looking up like you know Hom Design and then the Basilisk and I like for some reason he gets like a lot of negative like everyone nitpicks the shit out of like anything about his knives and I was definitely one of them. Like you know like when I was looking I, 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 hes I hesitated to buy the Basilisk because A it was like a little bit more expensive than any of the BRS knives and also because like, everyone's saying the tip's super fragile, and, like, you know, like, the, uh, handle, the handle weight's really heavy. It's really handle heavy, and, like, really, uh, a little bit, like, uh, it has a little bit more girth on the handles. Something about how it's basically, like, it made it sound like it's subpar flipping, which it is not. Um, how do I say this? Like, the handle heaviness and the width of the handles are not a negative of the knife or the flippability of knife. They are just an aspect of it. Like, if you spend more than a week trying to figure out how this knife flips, those won't bother you, you know? Like, his knives are not unflippable. On the contrary, they are the best flippers I've ever had. It's just that they're a little bit more handle heavy than some people want. And those people did not want to bother trying to learn how to flip them a little handle heavy like I guess like um, Jerry Hom is too busy designing knives to like moderate Facebook groups or reddits you know he's too busy actually like reading the uh, reading or watching the criticisms of his knives and his customer feedbacks and then 
trying to make like spacer kits, you know, for for the for the so that people could have less handleness heaviness on their knives than just waiting to the next drop and hope praying that the QC is like better or something, you know. It seems like he he's he's a perfectionist and he really takes these criticisms to heart. He's not he doesn't seem to try to sway the opinion of his products. He he wants to see the 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 he wants to see his knives speak for themselves. Uh, for example, like this Chimera, when I first when it was first coming out, I I wanted it so bad because of the latch system, you know. Like everyone was raving about it. I remember the Instagram video where it was just like this, it just showed like, some pushing the latch in, and then like everyone flipped the fuck out. They're like, "Holy shit!" And there was so much hype about it, and then. Uh, whenever it got released at Blade Show and everyone was flipping it, 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 it was, it seemed to me, because I was, like, watching every bit of, uh, media about the Chimera that I could. It seemed to me, like, everyone was like, oh, this doesn't flip as good as a rep, like, reps were much better, and shit like that. Like, everyone wants everything to flip like a fucking rep. They were all complaining about the handle weight and, like, the length and the girth of the, uh, Chimera. And then when I finally got it... Despite all those, despite all the, like, all the bad things I've heard about it, it, like, it was handle heavy. Like, the titanium at the end of spacers combined with how long the handle is. Like, this is a really big knife. It's, like, so much bigger than the Basilisk. How long the handle was, it's, like, there's more leverage back here, so even though it was titanium instead of stainless steel, like, you could feel the, it's, the weight had more leverage. Despite all that, it was the most comfortable flipper I ever had. Like... Yeah, sure, the, uh, the, my Alpha Beast could flip faster, and, like, like, there was more things that were, like, uh, I guess more intuitive with the Alpha Beast. But, like, flipping this has, like, made me a slower flipper for the better. Like, it made me, like, slow down my flow and really concentrate on, uh, what I'm doing, you know? Like, this knife definitely defined my style because I stuck with it. And then Jerry released the aluminum spacers, which made him flip a little faster and like it was like a little bit easier to flip, but it's still like it's still a chimera, you know? I still like like to f flip slow with it. But yeah, no, I don't know, like BRS always had that like extreme sport vibe with uh their image, you know, like with the competitions and the reposting of people like fucking doing the most amazing things with their knives, and like you know, like like a little bit of edginess. They had like old videos of like Knife Zoid and uh, like Silent J and all those guys like flipping on cop cars and throwing like a ballad song from the top of a fucking building down to somebody and cutting their hand up. And then Squid is like the up and coming, you know. Made, um, like, big name in Battle Song right now, and they're pushing Battle Songs to be a bit more uh, mainstream with their trainers and a little bit more family friendly. You know, give a kid a squid, give a, give a little kid a squiddy, and it's uh, you know they're doing a great job. But yeah, they're BRS and Squid very much push the whole like sponsorship. You know, you get fame flipping, you know, and like legitimizing Battle Songs. You know what I mean? But, uh, I feel like Jerry, Jerry Holm is very much classy. His knives, his knives and the aura of his knives and the way he conducts himself is very, like, a class, very classy. I feel like he is a true artist in the fact that he is, he seems to be incredibly, uh, a, a perfectionist. Uh, I've made a lot of shitty financial decisions in my life based off of many things. You know, I've lived off, I've lived in punk houses. I've slept on, I've traveled the country sleeping on floors and stuff, playing music. I'm currently like, you know, working at a, eh, a job, quote unquote, like kind of a crappy job. And I live in a trailer right now because I want to concentrate more on, you know, making art and traveling than I do, uh, you know, hustling. But, now that I'm more stable in life, I feel like I deserve a little bit of class 
And when I have one of these in my pocket, I feel like I have class. It sounds stupid, but that's how I feel. Like, I'm very, I, I'm very proud of the fact that I could hold one of these knives, I could flip his knives. And, uh, Jerry Home, if you're watching this, I'm very sorry about that first video. You just, all your knives scream perfection. And whenever people find something they don't like about it, they just forget about all the other wonderful qualities of your knives. I feel like that is the downside of, you know, being uh, letting your products speak for themselves, man. But I really respect the fact that you do that. Alright, thanks for listening, guys. Y'all stay sharp.